Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Can One Champ Beat Two Diamonds? We've got Ice Cold here, our champ player, and SCP, as well as Blizzard for our two diamond players. We're going to be starting here on Villa. The rules are pretty simple. Uh, there are no rules. There's going to be no bans. It's just Ice Cold versus these two diamond players, and we're going to see how he fares against them. He's going to be starting here on Attack on Villa, and we're going to get straight into round one. But before we do that... Make sure if you guys enjoy this video, consider liking, subscribe, turn notifications on would mean a lot to me. These videos take a long time to make. So if you guys wouldn't mind dropping some love in the comments or whatever it may be, I would appreciate that. But anyways, let's get straight into round one. All right. So Ice Cold is going to be spawning on the ruin side as Gridlock. Not actually a bad option, Gridlock. Uh, she's pretty fun. Her gun is really enjoyable to play as. And uh, he's going to have those spike traps as well as some smoke grenades to try to help him out. So not a bad pick. I'm Mr. Josh. For the defense side, we've got uh, SCP on the Malusi. Very good pick. You guys know I'm always preaching about Malusi. As well as Blizzard on that smoke, trying to make some rotates and head holes. So not a bad lineup here from the Diamond players. And they're going to be starting on the Trophy side. So we're going to see how Ice Cold chooses to attack this here. Burn out some gridlock traps. Trying to stop anyone from flanking while he gets on drone here. Just going to take things slow as he needs to. You can see he's got that cutoff drone for the 90 hall, and he's going to try to drone out. Vault and Aviator here into bar, making sure everything's clear, uh, which, as we know, it pretty much is. Now, these Banshees are going to be a big, big problem for Josh. We see one in the bottom left here of the screen uh, where Malusi is holding an angle on right there on the stairs. He's got to be careful of these Malusi traps, especially when SCP is playing so close to them right now. Remember... Josh dies once here, and the round is over. He can make zero mistakes here in these rounds. So he's really got to be careful about how he chooses to attack this. More Gridlock traps going out. Very good placements by him. Going to stop anyone from swinging out on that double door and flanking him on those red stairs. Now he can't get shot out, so Blizzard's going to have to hop off of that camera. We see SCP all the way back into Master, trying to hold... A little bit of a head glitch here on this shield. We'll see if it works out for him or not. Josh trying to drone in through statue. Seeing where everyone is. I'm not sure if he saw Malusi here on the shield. So he's got to be careful when he goes to push through this door here. Blizzard just holding an angle on the double door. Smoke grenade going to come out from Josh. Going to block off that door. Could see a counter smoke here by Blizzard. We'll see what he chooses to do. 50 seconds left on the clock. SCP still just holding these head holes. He's got a great angle on the doorway. He's going to... Shoot some shots at Josh. Going to take a lot of damage. Josh doing about half of SCP's HP. Not a good spot for Josh whatsoever. Blizzard still has those smoke grenades. 35 seconds left. It is not looking good for Josh whatsoever. Blizzard holding the bomb angle here. Going to be hard for Josh to push in. 25 seconds. Bound to see these smoke grenades come out any second now. Josh stuck in that Banshee trap. 20 seconds left. SCP's got the angle here. Josh going for the quick peeks. He actually might get the shot off here. Lucy going to fall back to those head holes. Going all the way back to Aviator now. Blizzard's got to look to his left. Josh is pushing in. He could get a kill here onto Blizzard, who's just not paying any sort of attention. Jocko coming out from Blizzard. SCP going down. Josh going to try to bait the plant, but it's not going to happen. Blizzard with the kill onto Ice Cold. Well played. The Diamonds take round one here on Trophy Statuary. All right, so this round, Blizzard's actually going to be hopping on the mirror. That's going to be a big problem for Josh. He's got no hard breach capabilities, so he's not really going to be able to destroy those mirror windows. But it actually might not be a problem for him as he's going to be pushing in through the north side of the map instead of the south side by study. So this actually could be just fine for Ice Cold. We'll see what happens. Gonsik's going to come out. He's going to rush straight into the 90 hall so far. Blizzard trying to hold an angle onto the top red stairs. SCP still reinforcing a lot of walls here. And Josh knows exactly where he's at, but it's not going to happen. SCP with the headshot onto Ice Cold. Just getting off this reinforcement. Heard him push up on the door, and that's an easy shot for him. The 2-0 lead from the Diamond players. The match point is creeping up on Ice Cold. He really needs to try to pick a round out here. This might be one of the most important rounds of the game right now, as if Ice Cold loses this. It is going to be a match point for the two diamond players. And that is going to be very difficult for him to come back from. Trying to come back from an 0-3 is very difficult. It is definitely doable. And I know Ice Cold has got what it takes. But he needs to really pull out this round. And try to delay that match point as much as he possibly can. If not, completely deny it. 
we'll see what he chooses to do switching off of the gridlock and the finca in favor of the twitch as i think he saw the mirror from last round and wanted to potentially try to pop those mirror windows but no mirror this round from the two diamond players we're going to see an aruni as well as an oryx scp is the oryx actually way off site right now although we have to remember that the laundry hatch just to the top left of ice cold's drone is open and scp could rotate there in just a flash and immediately flank ice cold so he's got to be careful how he plays this blizzard actually pocketing his bulletproof camera as well as an aruni gate that's just a little bit less utility that ice cold has to worry about you know some oh, other as i was just talking about scp gonna jump up on the bed here just trying to watch the barricade from the hatch position now josh has got to be very careful when he chooses to push in this smoke grenade gonna come out try to bait and switch here looks like he's gonna hop in through the moto door he used the sound of the smoke grenade to mask the vault sound of him hopping in now blizzard is preoccupied with laundry but ice cold is actually walking straight into the site right now and it looks like blizzard has no idea ice cold turning the corner that's an easy kill for him blizzard goes down 1v1 now against scp where is he he's on the laundry hatch if he drops right now josh has the feet holes to try to take him out as well as the door not a great position from scp but he's most likely gonna have to go for the drop here minute 20 seconds left and ice cold's gonna go for the plant SCP definitely going to hear that. Z-Ping's coming out as they definitely have a cam on him. Ice Cold, you got to get off the cam. Missed shots by SCP. Doing a fair bit of damage to Ice Cold, though, who's on 50 HP. Pre-placed drone's going to come out from Josh to get the red pings onto SCP. Wallbang's coming out. Josh narrowly missing a headshot through the wall right there. SCP definitely in the favorable position right now as he has the HP advantage. And he's also got a Bailiff. He could turn the corner with the Bailiff and play close. Eight diffuses are going to cut him out. Josh, not sure if he's going to stick or not. Going to swing the corner, and Josh is going to win it. Taking down the two diamond players. That's round three. Going to the champ player. Stopping that match point, as I was talking about. Well played by him. This is going to be Ice Colt's first rounds on defense. We'll see if he fares just a little bit better on defense. Looking back, normally, like statistically, defense is a little bit more favored when it comes to Siege. So perhaps Ice Cold is going to be able to pull off the defense rounds just a bit better, but we'll see. It is a 1v2, so it's not going to be a traditional siege game. With that being said, Blizzard on the Finca, SCP on the Osa. Good lineup from them. Definitely solid operators. Pre-fire is coming out. Almost taking out Ice Cold there, if we're being honest. Well, I don't know if he's in there. Yeah, well, he's on 90. He's on 90. He just walks into games. He's into games. So he is actually in quite a bad spot if we're being completely honest a emp grenade from ice cold coming out but that's not really going to do anything to him he's got to be careful finca is pushing up on the double door here this could be the end of ice cold minute 50 left osa still in the site with the bomb lots of shots coming out through the wall gonna do a little bit of damage on to scp he's still got to worry about blizzard who's just holding the angle with this finca but ice cold gonna win out the gunfight 1v1, minute 30 seconds left. Ice Cold trying to get on that bulletproof to get some pings out so he can shoot them through the wall. But SCP going to take out the bulletproof and then swiftly take out Ice Cold through the wall. Unfortunate for Josh, if we're being honest here. But good rounds by the Diamond players. Came to be a little bit close, though. That is going to be match point. And Josh is going to have to win two straight rounds to bring it back to overtime. Ice Cold opting for the Capkin instead of the Malusi. Hopefully, he's able to pull out some Capkin traps here and potentially, at the very least, damage our two attacking Diamond players here. Also, choosing to go downstairs into the kitchen dining site instead of either the Aviator slash uh, Master Statue, whatever you'd like to call it. So we'll see if this fares a little bit better for him. Lots of Capcom traps and barricades coming out from Ice Cold. I'm I'm really hoping to see him bring this to OT. Taking a look at our two attacking players. Really unfortunate. I think the six pick came into effect here where SCP was able to see, okay, he's playing Capkin. Let me go ahead and pull out the IQ to try to counter that. And then Blizzard saying the same thing. Let me pull out Twitch. You ping the Capkin traps. I'll use the Twitch trying to take them out. So this Capkin could be a little bit less efficient than maybe ice cold was hoping for pre-fire is coming out ice cold narrowly missing the headshot there 
C4 potentially going to come out here from Ice Cold. I wouldn't do it. He's holding the angle. C4 going to come out, though. And that's actually going to be SCB getting taken down. Wow. I did not expect that to happen whatsoever. Blizzard going to try to walk in here through China. Got to be careful of these Capcom traps, though. It definitely seems wary of it. But Ice Cold with the wall bang on the Capcom. Great round by him. That's going to be a swift takedown of the two Diamond players. And he is only one round away from OT. A lot of barricades coming out here from Ice Cold. Seemed to work in his favor last round. So hopefully he's able to win this round and also bring us to OT. Remember, if he loses this round, it is Donzo for Villa. And we will potentially go to a second map. We'll see if these players are up for it or not. But with that being said, Blizzard and SCP back on the Osa and the Finca. We'll see how this works out for him. Last round, it did not work so well. Um, well. Actually, they were Twitch and IQ last round. So maybe that's not true. Ice Cold potentially trying to go for a quick kill onto SCP here, though. He's got to be careful. He's going to be invert repelled. Ice Cold does not know that just yet. Alibi get, clone getting shot out. So he's going to know that now. Impact grenade going to come out. And that's a lot of damage onto SCP. About half his HP. He's going to be able to think a boost back up and regain some of his HP, though. But he's got to be careful because Blizzard has already crouch walked directly into the site. And I don't know if Ice Cold knows it. You got to look to the right, Ice Cold. Not going to happen. Blizzard with the rat right in the site. That's going to be a 4-2 victory for the Diamond players over Ice Cold. Nice try by Josh, but couldn't quite pull it out. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are on map two between Ice Cold and these two Diamond players here on Coastline. Ice Cold is back on attack as he requested. So hopefully this map he's able to pull out some more rounds and possibly even a victory over the two Diamond players here. But we'll see how everything goes. Just a little reminder, by the way, if you guys are enjoying the video, consider subscribing. Turn those notifications on. I post daily here on the channel. And uh, it does take quite a bit of time to put together all these videos for you. So if you wouldn't mind, like the video, comment down below any other video suggestions that you guys have. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching so far. All right, so our two diamond players here have decided to go to the hookah bomb site. Pretty default, if we're being honest. But we'll see how Ice Cold chooses to attack it. He's going to have a little bit of headache against him with this uh, Azami. Uh, Azami is pretty common on the hookah balcony or the hookah site. Um, and approaching from that hookah balcony can be kind of a pain trying to look into the site here. He's also got to be careful of this big window as SCP is sitting just right here. So he could potentially open up that window and peek onto ice cold through the window here. Those are going to take a little bit of damage from that grenade, but not too much. That's going to be both of ice cold's drones getting taken out right now. So he is going to be going into the rest of this round blind. Trying to get some shots off onto Blizzard, the alibi, who's trying to peek in through the uh, top vase here. And we also see SCP trying to hold an angle in behind the bar. Free fire is coming out from both players, but nothing going to hit just yet. That's going to be an easy wall bank for Ice Cold, though, onto SCP. So there goes your Azami. It's all up to Blizzard now in the 1v1. Ice Cold still got a grenade in hand. The Azami chop going to get taken out on the hookah door. Minute 40 seconds left. Ice Cold pre-firing exactly where Blizzard is wanting to peek right now. So reading him perfectly. He's got to try to use his utility here to try to take out Blizzard. He needs to think a boost and push in or nade or do something. He needs to use his, his utility and try to take him out here. Ideally, if he's able to use his grenade and, you know, bank it in off the wall or do something to take out Blizzard, that would be the most ideal scenario. And that's exactly what he's going to try to do. Grenade in hand, throwing it just to where Blizzard is standing. That's going to be about half of his HP gone. And Ice Cold able to just crouch in right behind this Azami, actually going to use it against Blizzard, which is not something I'm sure they expected. Blizzard going to try to get a different angle. Possibly saw the gun barrel of Ice Cold. Ice Cold reading into exactly what Blizzard is doing. Blizzard not looking at the right spot just yet. Ice Cold pushing in on the double door. Blizzard doesn't know. He's going to push in just at the right time to avoid the shots. The LMG with the pre-fire though. Ice Cold, 50 bullets in his mag still. And he's going to take out Blizzard. First round going to Ice Cold. Well played. Also, if you guys are looking to take your gameplay to the next level, consider checking out my sponsors with the link down below in the description, both G Fuel and Skypad. You guys can use code SHOCK to get 30% off your next G Fuel order, as well as code SHOCK to get 10% off your next Skypad order. Would definitely recommend checking those two guys out if you're interested in improving your gameplay. Ice Cold switching on to the Iana for this round for going the Finca. We'll see if this works out a little bit better for him, although he was able to win last round on the Finca, so... 
Interesting decision by him, but maybe the ARX is just feeling a little bit more comfortable in his hands. And he's also going to have more info now. First drone getting shot at, but he does have one left in his pocket. Not to mention he is Iana with those clones. So he's got plenty of info left. First grenade going out, not going to hit anything, not even a little bit of damage. He's got to be careful of SCP peeking through the aqua holes all the way into the big window here. He's got to be really careful about that. Wallbang's coming out, but not a lucky wallbang this round. And that's going to be a wallbang coming out from Blizzard. Actually going to do almost half of Ice Cold's health just through that wallbang. SCP trying to rotate some of his alibi clones. Hoping that Ice Cold's going to pre-fire into that window. And he's going to get some pings out onto him. Second grenade on from Ice Cold. And no damage from either. That is very unfortunate. He should still have that gone six, but he doesn't really even have a need to use it besides maybe one of those uh, Malusi Banshees. Trying to get the pre-fires on SCP, but nothing's going to connect. That hollow really limiting him here. Trying to go for the Yana clone bait. Not going to get anyone to swing, though. These nades would be so nice right now if he had just waited and used them a little bit better. Actually going to throw out his Yana clone this time and see what sort of info he can get. He knows roughly where both players are at he knows where scp is at but he's not 100 percent sure where the malusi is of blizzard gonna walk in that's gonna be the banshee and blizzard gonna take him out too easy that banshee on the door not much josh can do about it and that's gonna be round two for the diamond players ice cold actually opting for the sense which is very interesting it makes sense though as he was actually having some problems pushing into hookah last round there was just a dual way crossfire and there wasn't much he could have done about it now he could have got an operator with smokes but he's actually chosen to go sense so interesting decision by him maybe he's just feeling the dmr but we'll see how he utilizes senses gadget as it's pretty well known at this point that his gadget is pretty eh so I'm interested to see what he plans to do here. With that being said, SCP is the uh, Aruni all the way in sight. The defenders actually chose to go on to blue bar. And we see Blizzard up top in Aqua with that hatch open. Uses impacts to open it up. But what's important to note about Blizzard being off site is his well, my gadgets are not going to be in sight. So that is just a little thing to note. Ice cold trying to push in probably through mud into sunrise here. But we'll see what he chooses to do. Blizzard still all the way back into office right now and scp actually all the way upstairs into hookah right now trying to hold the hatch this could be a great time for josh to push in depending on uh what he plans to do here Bomb located by if he's able to send off the hatch that scp is holding and push in here this could be a great push for him but the first one just messing up completely and gonna get put all the way outside i'm not sure what the plan was there first one going in yeah, this is why this gadget's not very good. <laughs> it looks to it looks to me that Josh really doesn't have much info here. He's just now joining the site. He wasn't really sure where anyone was. I think that was a big waste of his gadget so far. Those uh those smoke grenades or whatever you want to call them really didn't do much of anything. SCP still got a great angle onto the door here, so Josh is gonna try to push upstairs and shoot him off of it but he's in a spot where he cannot be wall banged through this door ice cold gonna try to open it up thought he was potentially gonna go for a quick rush missed shots by scp could have definitely had the kill there josh probably gonna push on this reload here pushing in shots missing from both teams scp definitely taking the most amount of damage though both players now in the site blizzard still full hp only 35 seconds left on the clock no more sense gadget from ice cold either Looks like Ice Cold might try to rotate in through the office, which could be the play. Although SCP is sitting here just watching it and the z pigs are coming out. They definitely know he's coming there. And that's going to be the drop from Ice Cold right into his demise from the Aruni of SCP. Well played to the two Diamond players. It is now one to two. All right, so this is going to be Ice Cold's first defending rounds here on Coastline. And he's actually opting to go Castle. And we're seeing a pretty interesting Castle strat coming out from him. I actually really like this. I want to see how this works for him. Now, the only downside to this is SCP is on the ash. So he's going to have two ash charges to take out those castle barricades. Not to mention Blizzard on the Finca is going to have the Gone Six to take out any of these castle barricades. And most of his setup seems to be centered around Hookah, but the defenders are actually pushing office. So they are doing everything to perfectly counter Ice Cold Strap. But with that being said, both players here are taking massive amounts of damage. SCP 
on about almost half HP and Blizzard on less than that. Ice Cold is taking a little bit of damage. Now a lot of damage as SCP is pushing all the way into that Biller's table and he's going to get the kill on Ice Cold. One to three for the two diamond players. Well played to them. Ice Cold giving up the castle strat, opting instead for the mirror, which actually could be a better option here if these two players decide to push in through Aqua uh, and that side of the map again. Although one thing he's going to have to worry about is the Twitch. SCP is on that Twitch and not to mention Blizzard on the Finca. One grenade from the office or the uh, Aqua room onto that mirror window and Ice Cold is dead. So it could make him an easy target for these grenades, but we'll see how he handles that. Not to mention, if the Twitch drone is able to pop open that mirror window, this actually could work against him. So, again, we'll see how he decides to hold this. Looks to me that both of the two diamond players are going to try to do the same take that they did last round. Drone's coming in, just trying to make sure that the initial rooms are clear. They're going to ping out that mirror window. They automatically know exactly what they need to do now. We're going to see SCP probably push in here, throw a Twitch drone, and try to take out that mirror window. That, or we're going to see Blizzard throw a nade just directly on the floor next to it, trying to get the kill. And that's exactly what we're seeing. Going to bait the grenade for now. Ice Cold, not actually on it, but that's a Twitch on taking out the first mirror window. But not that's not really a big problem whatsoever. Second Twitch room coming in. It's going to try to get this mirror window. Going to vault over the wall right now. Ice Cold, surely going to get this. He did. That's the second Twitch room going down. So that first mirror window should stay up, but now he's got to worry about the grenades. But Blizzard has actually rotated all the way into the hallway from 90, and that's going to be an easy kill for him on to Ice Cold. He's going to fall 4-1. to one. Nice attempt by him, but just couldn't quite put the kills together. I think the main problem was that the two Diamond players were working very apart. They were playing very solo, and Josh just really wasn't ready for that. But either way... Make sure to follow Ice Cold with the links down below in the description. Check out G Fuel Apex and Skypad with the links down there. Use code SHOCK to get those discounts as well as subscribing if you guys are new. Once again, I do post daily here on the channel. Make sure you guys like the video if you enjoyed. Comment down below what other videos you'd like to see me make. And thank you guys so much for watching.